All right, what is going on guys? It's Paula One and today we are back with a world record gameplay in Infinite Warfare. That is right. Today you are watching the world's first search and destroy deatomizer strike. And that is not an easy thing to do. So before we get any further into today's video, if you guys could drop an early like, that would be greatly appreciated. Infinite Warfare gameplays seem to be kind of down in popularity, but because this is such a insane world record, it would really mean a lot to myself as well as Carnage Dismo. If you guys could get a thousand likes on this gameplay, I definitely think it's deserving of that since it's a search and destroy the atomizer strike, but on top of that it is the world's first. So if we could see a thousand likes, that would be really, really awesome. It helps get the video out there and obviously with YouTube having its own glitches and stuff, it will definitely help the video a ton. So I do apologize for saying let's let's hit a thousand likes and everything, but really does mean a lot when we're able to hit milestones like that because it helps the video get out there for more people to see and stuff. So let's go ahead and get right into this gameplay, guys. The gameplay first off is by Carnage Dismo, and it is important that you understand the character of Carnage Dismo before we, you know, dive into the statistics and the details of this gameplay, because this gameplay truly represents what you can expect from Carnage Dismo, and that is why I'm telling you, please go to his channel. His link will be right at the top of the description below. Uh, he is a fantastic pub stomper in Infinite Warfare, but also in previous Call of Duties, and he does a whole bunch of variety and unique things on his channel that I guarantee you will enjoy enjoy a ton. And I know the people that are on his channel right now, which is about 8,500 people, are thoroughly enjoying his content, like, a lot. I just read the comments, people love him. So, please go to his channel and check him out. You can expect unique Deatomizer Strike gameplays that, like, push things to limit. Like, we're talking crazy, crazy stuff. I don't want to spoil anything, but on top of that, he also does live gameplays. He gets very high standard gameplays. He goes back and does very, very unique things in previous Call of Duties. So, like I said, go to his channel, check him out for getting something so crazy like like this. So this is, like I said, a, a deatomizer strike in Search and Destroy. So first off, probably wondering how exactly is that even possible when there's a very limited amount of kills? There's only six enemies, and once all six enemies are dead and around, they, you know, the round changes, and you can pretty much win a Search and Destroy fairly quickly. So how exactly is this possible? Well, the game is controlled a little bit, and things have to be done so that Carnage Dismo has as much control over this game as possible. How does he do that? He runs in a six-man. So really, that only way this is possible, I guess technically, Technically, it could be possible solo or maybe in a smaller party, but that's very, very, you know, based on luck and, and you know, things aren't able to go in your your way. So, like, this is still very, very hard in the six man, but it, it really helps the, um, you know, odds. The odds are in your favor, basically. So, uh, I guess, like I said, it's possible in it's solo, but I don't. It's really never been done before. And <laughs> with that being said, it kind of shows that it's not. It's very, very hard to do. So, the six man helps him out, and because of this, his his teammates don't get any kills, and it allows him to. Go go out and get all the kills uh, that he can. So that's really the the point behind it. He plays pretty pretty strategically. He uses his his teammates as reference points. Like the teammate dies, he kind of has an idea of where the enemies are coming from and all of that kind of stuff. And his enemies, his teammates are able to kind of like shout out where the enemies are coming from and stuff like that. The gameplay is kind of cut up. So by the way, if you're wondering, well, well there's random cuts throughout the gameplay and stuff. Now the Deatomizer Strike is kind of lengthy because obviously it's search and destroy. You have to play strategic. And there's several rounds, and between each round, there is a good amount of, like, just random time that kind of has to be cut out. So the gameplay was, like, 12 minutes long, and because of that, I had to edit it down and make it a lot shorter so that you didn't sit there and watch 12 minutes of him running around trying to find these enemies that were, like, hiding and stuff like that, but also the long round changes. So that is the reason why it's cut up and it's a shorter gameplay, just so you realize that. So it's cut up to, so you can see the kills, so you can see the deatomizer strike at the end, uh, but that that's why it's cut up. I know some people are going to ask down in the comments section below. But that's pretty much it for today's video, guys. Once again, drop a like on today's video. Subscribe to Carnage Clan if you are new. If you made it to this point in the video, comment down below, hashtag search and destroy, and uh, let Carnage Dismo w know what you think about this gameplay, as well as leaving some suggestions on other Deatomizer Strikes uh, or other gameplays and other Call of Duties for him to go for, because he's always open for suggestions. But that's pretty much it, guys. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Christmas is just around the corner. I hope you guys are having a fantastic uh, time spending time with family and just having the positive vibes and all that kind of stuff because that's very, very important. Try to have a good time uh, no matter what and just and stay positive, guys, and, and just uh, uh, have a good time. So that's pretty much it, guys. I'll talk to you all later.